Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Javier Novoa with The Real Javier Novoa here in our Real Javier Novoa studio. And uh, I just wanted to make a quick video to answer a question. I was looking through the form of another spiritual teacher, in fact the great Zera Mahun, who actually teaches the principles of the Law of Attraction and has many books that teach it in a way that's easily understandable uh, to many people. And uh, she is an inspiration for many people. She has a great forum called Unlimited Life. So take a look at that if you have not taken a look. And many people discuss uh, issues related to spirituality and to law of attraction and law of assumption and so on and so forth. And she gives very good answers to this. But I read a question which I thought was indicative to what many people in this society are feeling. Especially many people who begin to do this work. Because when you begin to do this work, you, you are opened up to the world of feelings and emotions because we know that emotions are our indicators for where we are going. And Abraham Hicks and the other spiritual teachers in this modality uh, teach us to pay special attention to our emotions and to our feelings. So many people are almost lost because for all of their lives they've been told to suppress feelings, to ignore feelings and emotions, and now they're being told to see them as indicators. So what they begin to do is they begin to take these indicators, look at them really closely, and then feel guilty or feel lack when the emotion is not going according to the way they think that it should go. So the question that was on the forum and that I answered briefly uh, by uh, one of the members of that forum says, I have become indifferent to my desires. I literally do not care anymore. What does that indicate? And of course, there could be two possible explanations to this. One is that she is now living solely in the moment. She is in a state of what many would call spiritual enlightenment, although I question the existence of a permanent enlightenment anyway. If someone could explain to me what that is, it would be great. But she's reached the point where she is simply following the guidance of spirit. She's living completely in the moment. And so therefore, she does have desires because the very act of living implies desires. When you move from one place to another, that is the desire and then taking action toward the fulfillment of that desire. But she doesn't have conscious desires because she's completely just involved in this modality and just allowing the path to take its course. The second modality, which is a lot more likely, or that what I thought was a lot more likely, is that the person may be simply in boredom or anger, or even someone answered the question saying that it sounds like depression. And it could be on those lower levels of the emotional scale from whence this question is coming. Because the first question and response to the question is why the question? If you're completely satisfied and you don't care anymore, why would one ask the question as to what does that indicate? So what I told her was this. I said, note the feeling. If it feels like peace, relief, and contentment, then you're in a perfect place. More desires will follow. If there's any negative emotion, it means that you're just bored, pessimistic, or pissed. Very upset. If so, either use the tools to get you up the emotional scale, or just forget it and take a nap and meditate. Just be in the now. Nothing is forever and you don't have to do anything or get anything done or improve anything. Just go with the flow of life and it will carry you. The answer to your question is, it indicates what, whatever you think. Law number one is that you make the law. Don't look to others, you are the answer. Then the, the, the questioner answered and said, it feels like peace, nothing bothers me, nothing affects me. So while the world might describe it as that person doesn't care, that person isn't doing enough for the job, etc. It really isn't so for me. However, the area where I'm scared about, and if one has no desires, one could have no fear, because fear is simply the inverse of love. This means that you desire that. I hope it doesn't make me too complacent to worldly matters, which is also fear and lack. So ladies and gentlemen, I actually made a video, uh, I believe a few weeks ago, about this. And the point is, is that when people first start dealing with this work, I started getting into this modality probably over 10 years ago. And I actually took the full jump, in the full, or 
probably longer than that, probably 15, 20 years ago. But I took the full jump and full commitment into this. That is looking to my emotions as indicators and making my main focus on the interior work, on feeling good. And when many people first begin going into this modality and take the full commitment to it, they start to get crazy about their feelings and emotions. So just real quick, I want to go over what we teach on this channel that, that helps people navigate that and realize what the real name of the game is. First of all, we separate feelings and emotions. Uh, and I believe that, that we do this uh, in a way that's very easy to digest. Because emotions are feelings plus thoughts. What we teach is that when you have a negative reaction to an outer experience, let's say it's something that you believe is negative, you have a visceral feeling, and that feeling you cannot help, you cannot control. Then you have a thought about that feeling as to what it is. That also, to a certain extent, you can't control. But then you continue to focus on that thought, and then that feeling generates more negative thought, which generates more negative feeling, and you're in a vicious circle. So what we do is we teach, and this is a fact, that thoughts and feelings are separate. Thought is the non-physical aspect of it, and feeling is the physical aspect of it. You can immediately um, dissolve the thought, and you do it very easily by intensely observing the physical feeling. Then you can say, I'm having this feeling, it is physical, but it's like my arm. As Krishnamurti said, the feeling becomes like my arm. Therefore, there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I need to do about it because it's a physical feeling just like any other feeling. And then as you observe that feeling, it will dissolve after about two minutes. And you need not do anything else in regard to that. So what people need to do when they're first getting involved in this modality is, first of all, don't try to feel good too hard. When you wake up in the morning, as Abraham Hicks says, Try to get on a good vibrational foot, meditate, and then try to ride that wave. If you get off that wave, forget about it. Realize that you're going to go to sleep and all of the momentum is going to subside and you'll wake up and you'll have another chance again. Oftentimes that's enough to just dissolve the feeling and pretty soon you're getting back into what I call state, back into a positive emotion and a positive trajectory. But don't try too hard on your feelings. Remember that we came to experience all of these feelings. Because in the pure spiritual, you are pure love and pure satisfaction. Why the heck would you leave that? Well, you left that so that you could come and experience duality. And then you could rediscover yourself as the unity. For the only way to discover yourself as the one is by being introduced to multiplicity. And this is what all spiritual teachings teach. So the point of the story is, the moral of the story is, don't care about how you feel. Emotions matter because they attract. The thought plus the feeling is telling you on what trajectory you're going. But once you dissolve that thought by focusing intensely on the feeling and being intensely in the now, that feeling is simply a physical thing. It speaks nothing of your future. As Joe Dispenza said in, uh, I think, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, it speaks nothing of your future. It is simply something that can be observed and then completely dissolved. And once it's dissolved, you will begin again to be able to go on that upward trajectory. Now, when you say that you don't desire anything anymore, just be completely present and don't try to desire anything anymore. Oftentimes we think that we have to do something in this worldly experience. We have to be efficient. We have to have a big desire. We have to complete something. No, it can be as simple as simply being satisfied. It can be as simple as enjoying a meal or enjoying a shower. You will expand and grow, not of your own accord, but simply by osmosis, by the accord, by the general vibration of the universe, because it's why you came. You came for expansion, and you came for freedom, and you came for joy, and you will be taken to that effortlessly. All you need to do is get out of the way, and rule number one is you make the rules. So whatever you assume about a situation trumps everything. Whatever you assume about the situation is what that situation is going to be because it is your interpretation of it. So just relax. Calm down. Don't worry. If you're in a place where you have no desires or no great desires, you don't have to start generating that. You can use that time to contemplate. 
you can use that time to just relax, to meditate. If you have to do your work, just be completely and intensely present with what you're doing. And you will get into that state, which is called flow. And that state of flow will carry you effortlessly to everything that you want and could want. And at the end of the day, my friend, it is all about love, love, and love. So just love. Just allow and just allow it to move through you. Just ride the wave and enjoy. And don't get so crazy about your feelings and emotions. Because at the end of the day, we came to have them all. We came to feel them all. And they are all very good. In fact, you can tell yourself when you have a negative emotion, you can tell yourself, this actually feels good. It's like a neck massage. Because it's simply a physical feeling and you don't have to interpret it. You can interpret it any way you want. It's all about your interpretation. So just relax and don't worry. And don't worry about what other people think. I made a video on my channel just a few days ago about not worrying what other people think. Watch that video. Because you didn't come here to be concerned about what others think. You came here to grow and to love and to learn even though there's no learning that's required, but you came to do that. You came to expand, and you came to fulfill your selfish, yes, selfish desires, because you are the one. So my friend, do not worry. Just enjoy, and just stop thinking about it. Think about something else. Enjoy this journey and this process, and you will get better at it as time goes on. So until very soon, this is Javier. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and like to my channel. Uh, it's how we get this message out to the people who need it. And I will be making a lot of videos this weekend, and we'll be talking very soon. So until tomorrow, this is Javier. Peace.